Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy. This is the Roachring 600.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. So today we take a journey back to my childhood, well, young adulthood. I used to spend a great deal of my time drawing. It was just kind of a thing, and I would very often use a pencil, a mechanical or a lead holder, that kind of thing. I remember as a child looking at these guys, uh, you know, in the art store, and thinking, "Oh my God, that's the that's the peak of freaking luxury." Right Right there. Holy cow, a roach ring. They were all black and hardcore and serious, and I wasn't going to spend, you know, 18 bucks on a pencil back then, but hey, I'm an adult now. I got a gear channel, so why not, right? So I went ahead and I picked one of these little guys up. Um, So anyways, there you go. Um, Let's go on ahead and start off with a size comparison real quick. This is uh, not a very large uh, pencil here. Here it is against a couple of, uh, you know, conventional things. This is the uh, Vision Metal LP5. Here it is against a, uh, a boring regular pen here. Caveco Lily put a uh, Pilot G2 sort of pen. Here is your uh, standard big click stick sort of pen. And uh, do I have any other mechanical pencils around? No, not handy. Um, and then actually I'll do a couple of quick measurements here. I'll throw it up against the ruler. That's that's a helpful thing as well. So you can see the overall size on this guy is, uh, well, not all that long. And then the overall thickness of this guy is, uh, here is my caliper. The thickness on this little dude here is approximately... 0.312 inches. There you go. All righty. So anyways, um, let's go on ahead and jump into the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly of this very interesting little pencil right here. So on the good side, first off, um, this is a very, very nice feeling pen because it is a chunk of metal. I mean, seriously, this is solid. I am not, I've not found anything barring the eraser on this guy that, that is plastic. Maybe this little ring here is plasticky, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's a very impressive piece, and it's got a very nice little heft to it. I'll say that 100%. Throw this guy down on the scale, coming in at 0.81 ounces. That's heavy enough that it feels substantial in the hand, but not so heavy that it feels just like, oh, God, this is a pain in the neck to carry. So I like that very much. Next thing, this guy comes in a choice of black or silver. Um, I tend to like reflective materials, so I, I went with the silver here, but the black is also very, very handsome, and it's nice that you got that choice. Next thing, eraser-wise, this has an eraser. I mean, it's a conventional sort of eraser sort of thing, and it's also got the advantage that it's got a longer eraser in there that you can pull out, and then once you pull it out and kind of recrimp it, it'll be held in place. So that's a nice thing. This is also, by the way, how you get the lead. And I've added some extra lead to this guy because, well, might as well be prepared with plenty of lead, right? Um, that sounds like a prepper channel, but no, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, anyways, it's beside the point entirely. Next thing, this has a clip on here, and the clip is solid. Um, it is also rebendable. You can see you can pop this guy on or off if you'd like, and so if you accidentally snag it on something, um, you can rebend it, uh, as opposed to when you've got an integral clip that won't come off, like on this little, uh, this Tombow here, uh, that can, well, be a problem, because, uh, well, you, you can't bend your clip back, so that's good. Um, next thing, this actually has a bunch of really nice little details on it here. Um, for instance, things like the little red accents, the paint here, the, the, the little ring here. This knurling on it is just beautiful. The fact that it transitions so beautifully from smooth to then this octagonal, I believe it's octagonal? I didn't count. Maybe it's hexagonal. Yeah, it's hexagonal. Um, anyways, to that agonal shape, whatever the heck agony it is, that doesn't even make sense. Um, th th that's a nice little detail. I love, for instance, the knurling on this guy. I love Love these little tiny terraces as you go from here to here to here and then down. I love, I just, I really like the way that this is designed and made. It's just a beautiful thing. And even the gloss black underneath there is just really cool. I'm a big, big fan of that. And this, by the way, is a lead labeler. Um, this is kind of a pencil that's designed for people who use a pencil in a, a serious way. And so, uh, and there are many different kinds of lead with different kinds of hardness, etc. At the moment, I have a 2B lead in there. And so I've got that selected. But if you are a, uh, not to be person rather than a to be person. Uh, uh, that's the question. Um, the, 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 it may be nobler to uh, rotate this to show that you're using 4H or something like that. So that's nice. And then um, finally, uh, you know, I just, I the, the feel of this guy in the hand is pretty excellent. I, I got to say that here. I'll, I'll do a little bit of writing here. And uh, the thing is, I, I'm using a very nice lead here whose name I'm currently forgetting, but it's it's very, very nice lead. Um, and, uh, but it, it just has a very, very nice feel as you're writing with it. So I, I like that. I, I like that. Here, I'll write it out so you know I mean it. 
There you go. Um, I like that very, very much. And so to me, that's the good here, is that this just feels really nice in the hand. It's got very nice details with the nice texturing, with the red accents everywhere, with the changes in geometry, with the, 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 the gloss black here. The rebendable clip, the eraser on this guy is just a beautiful thing. And you can, by the way, still use it without that. So even if you lose the cap, no problem. Um, it is uh, comes in black as silver, and it is a solid metal. On the great side, to me, honestly, what's great about this is that this feels like a really high quality object. It's well machined. I mean, seriously, look at this freaking knurling. It's beautifully done. Same thing comes up up here on the lead selector. They didn't need to do that, but they did that, and it's great. I mean, it's just the whole thing. It feels solid. You've got a very nice glossy surface under there. The, the, this whole thing, every part of this just feels great. And, and so to me, that is absolutely magnificent. This is a very good pencil. You know, it's very nice to write with. I'm a big fan of using this pencil, but it also feels like just an incredible object. It, it, it's a piece of industrial design art. And I don't want to sound like I'm being like crazy dramatic because, dude, it's a pencil. But at the same time, I've held some really uninspiring pencils. If you put something like this next to something like this, it's just like, yeah, that's better. And so that to me is what's great, is that this just has a very luxurious, very high quality feeling, even though it's just a pencil, dude. Um, on the bad side, couple of little issues here. Even when the lead is fully retracted, as I will do right now, you still have a very sharp tip down at the bottom here. That's kind of the nature of the beast with a mechanical pencil. But the fact is that if you drop this guy, uh, for instance, onto a hard surface and this bends, guess what? You're out of mechanical pencil. Um, you know, I haven't dropped it to test. I don't really hope to. Um, but that is absolutely something that you can keep in mind. And for some mechanical pencils, they actually retract this tip up inside the body. It adds moving parts, to be sure, but it also means that it's less pokey in the pocket, and it's also um, a little bit less vulnerable to damage. So there you go. Next thing, the lead selector on this guy is fine. It works well. It's a good idea, but it also turns very easily. Um, I, I, this is absolutely, I've, I've found this in my pocket, just changing to another lead type. Um, it's not a, a, a big deal because you're going to remember what it is. And if you're like me, it doesn't actually matter because you've only got one pencil with one kind of lead you like. Um, but at the same time, something to keep in mind, maybe a little bit of ratcheting. That's completely overkill, guys. It's a freaking pencil. Um, next thing, this guy is uh, like a lot of mechanical pencils in that in order to deploy more lead, you need to reach up to the top here. So that means you're either reaching up with your other hand or you're doing one of these guys, click, and then you're going back. Um, as opposed to some mechanical pencils have the innovation of having the little lead advancer down here uh, rather than up at the top. Big deal? No. But it's a thing, keep in mind. Um, next thing, this does actually feel like it is painted. Um, if we look at it very carefully, everything is just very uniform. And so I kind of suspect they have put some variety of paint on this guy or another. So that means it's probably not going to age incredibly well. It could take dings that would get into this paint and whatnot. Um, it is a metal pencil at the end of the day, so I believe you should be able to just sand that off and be okay, but still, um, that, that, that's something to keep in mind. Um, next thing, the knurling on this guy. You can already see it beginning, but knurling traps crud. It's just a simple fact of life. As you're using a, a pencil, you're going to get, you know, eraser gunk and all kinds of things up inside this area, and so knurled pencils will eventually look pretty ugly down here, whereas smooth ones can be cleaned much more easily. End of the world? Absolutely not. It's a freaking pencil, but still. Then finally, Finally, on the bad side, um, 18 bucks is not a trivial amount of money to pay for a mechanical pencil. I mean, you can get a cheap mechanical pencil. I mean, for 18 bucks, you could buy like 60 mechanical pencils of the cheap plastic variety. Um, that's, uh, you're going to go through 60 of them pretty quickly, but still. Um, this is absolutely a luxury item. An $18 mechanical pencil is, well, not something everybody needs, but absolutely it's a nice thing. And so um, it's bad in the sense that, holy crap, that's a lot of money for a mechanical pencil, but I don't find trouble with it because it's a really, really well-made object. So um, to me, that's what's bad, though, is that 18 bucks is still a lot of money for a freaking pencil. The knurling traps crud. It does look to be paint on it. Deploying more lead does require you to change the grip a little bit. This lead selected does turn pretty rapidly, and it has the constantly sharp tip, even when there's no lead deployed. Um, on the ugly front, honestly, there's nothing ugly here. I really like this pen, and that brings us to the final conclusion, in which I will tell you that I really like this pen. Um, pencil, uh, not pen, pencil. Um, because, you know, it is a great performing pencil. It absolutely is. I, I really like it for taking notes. See, I'll write down taking notes. And, uh, you know, it's also good for drawing, so I'm going to draw a face. There you go. Congratulations. It's a face. Um, but anyways, hashtag face reveal. Uh, but it's a great performing pencil, that's for damn sure. But the thing is, it's also a great object. 
It is a well-made object. It feels luxurious. As weirdly it's dude, it's a pencil, I know. But it feels luxurious. It feels well done. This is something that I handle with pleasure rather than with like, yeah, I've got a pencil in my hand. Um, you know, this is something that you use only because you lack something else. This is something that you use by choice. And honestly, the, the, the closest that people are going, dude, it's a pencil, shut up, it's 10 minutes in. But the, the closest the, the difference I have here is that even if you get a cheaper mechanical pencil that still performs well, it advances lead, it holds on to it, it's the difference between like a performance stone Subaru and a performance stone BMW M3. Both are just stellar. They're going to be great for getting you to the grocery store, for going around the track, that kind of thing. But this guy is just going the extra mile. This is the Beamer. It's going the extra mile to just be a little bit more nice, to be uh, to have a sense of luxury, to just be like, yeah, we went there. We really, we got your back there, buddy. Um, And you will pay more for the privilege, absolutely. This is not the cheapest way to put lead on a page, but it's only 18 bucks at the end of the day. And if you use a pencil on a regular basis, I mean, heck, if you're one of those folks who just constantly is penciling, then by God, I, I, I think it's not a bad idea to look into one of these guys. Um, Because, you know, if you're driving all the time, just buy the freaking Beamer if you can afford it. Anyways, hope this has been interesting to you. Really, really nice pencil. Absolutely a solid gem for putting lead down on a page. And uh, have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.